My name is Jan Sikora and I guess I'm very happy to be, I guess, the first outside investor in Chopek. So that's ages ago. I have to say I, this is my first General Assembly and I'm really looking forward to meet some of the other, you know, fellow uh, shareholders and, and uh, collectors and Chopek enthusiasts, which frankly, that's what makes it this, this company so special, uh, the involvement and engagement of, of all the stakeholders. So really looking forward to it. The 2023 AGM, annual general meeting, the most important day for the shareholders and for the company, because this is where things are voted, shared and uh, decided. The AGM took place on the Kedeberg for the first time, a sort of a pilgrimage for a company like us, where everything started on Kedeberg number 29. This AGM was important because the company is on one side doing very, very well and going up the ladders, but at the same time, there are a lot of changes, a lot of challenges, a lot of difficulties, sometimes surprises that are not always nice, and we have to deal with them. And it's by the way that we deal with them that we show that we evolve in the right direction, that the company acquires the maturity that people are expecting it would acquire. There are more and more people coming to the General Assembly, so the shareholders are very involved. So the questions are exactly on what is important on what is painful, on the concern of the moment. And that shows also the level of involvement of the shareholders. Here, they are part of the company and they, are, they know that they are a living part of this company. So they are involved through the advisory board, they are involved in many, many different ways, helping us uh, from time to time on legal issues, uh, commercial issues. And, uh, and this is the vivid uh, element of Chapek. That makes not only that it's a sort of a secret weapon, but also a unique spirit. I have to say I'm, I'm super proud of the team and how in a way it's hard work and also a little bit of luck and where, where, we, uh, where we are today. I mean, the fact that uh, if this year we're going to make thousand plus watches, uh, big order book, but people recognize the brand and we became one of the, the more recognized independents. So I, I love it and I love the fact that we still maintaining the keep the buzz and then the excitement. So it's, it's fantastic. Je pense que Xavier a réussi à recréer, uh, a recréer uh, au sein des, des différents actionnaires le même la même, la même amitié, le même, le même lien d'amitié, le même, le même alchimie que nous on a connu lorsqu'on était tous les trois avec Philippe, lorsqu'on était tous les trois à l'armée. Et je pense que la, ce, 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 cette société euh, fonctionne et réussira grâce à la dimension humaine qui est apportée par, par Xavier principalement, mais par nous tous, parce que si on était tous des crétins, ça ne marcherait pas. I have this, uh... I have this very bad virus, which is called uh, uh, watch loving. I became shareholder for Chapek in 2018. I visit uh, the shareholders meeting every year simply because really the love of watchmaking. We get to come here, we get to see how the brand is doing, we get to see how the watches are made, we get to visit the suppliers. So it's really a first-hand experience at watchmaking. So that's what brings me here. So oh, it's uh, June 23rd, we are at the first station of the uh, shareholder tour of this year. We are at MDR, uh, they do uh, dials for Chapek, they were doing the osmium dials in the last years and we are very curious to discover what they're doing for us. Donc là, on a vu toute la partie métier d'art. Ouais. Euh, là, on va aller plus dans la partie euh, technologique, euh, savoir-faire technique euh, avec la partie laser, 
émail, la partie mécanique et euh, la partie euh, recuisson, détente, etc. So we are now at Donze Cadran. Donze is one of the world specialists of enamel. It's with them that we made the first Kedeberg enamel Grand Feu white. And in fact, we continue to push the research for doing modern ways of enameling. And that was the way we created the collective dial with this wave effect. And the second is the only watch with a multicolored demi cloisonné that represents the briefing for only watch 2023. I really like the visiting the uh, the manufacturer in the chapel, seeing the watchmakers uh, assemble a watch, seeing some prototypes. Yeah, that's my favorite part. Right behind me is a CNC machine that we've been waiting for so many months. It arrived actually last month with Pascal to pilot it, so it's really brand new. And with this machine now, we have the capacity of making literally anything we want. So we can do uh, milling, machining, and we can do bracelets, straps, cases, you name it. Twenty twenty three is a big step for the company, also because one of the founding partner is leaving the shareholding. So he's selling his shares, and that is a moment of change, but also a great opportunity for some shareholders to finally be able to buy more shares of the company, and also for some people to be welcome as new shareholders in the company. It's open, but we don't say it. Okay, so now you're gonna tell me, you know, come on, Xavier, is it really open? Is it really open if it's, if it's like this? Yeah, well, we actually expect people to tell us, I would like to become a shareholder, okay? We don't want to say to everyone, please become a shareholder, because there is a certain strange thing, you know? When I look at the shareholders today, I feel like, did we do a casting at the beginning? You know, they're all super cool people, super nice, they're all friends. Then they become friends together. It's really incredible. And this is a spirit, that's why we like people to come to us and say, can I become a shareholder? Because this is what we want to maintain, this culture. It became a community when we never tried to make it a community. 